This video will discuss using Vulnerability Priority Rating, or VPR, to effectively prioritize remediation efforts in your organization. The VPR functionality in Tenable.io does a great job of identifying the real-world risk of vulnerabilities in your organization. As you can see, based upon CVSS scores, there are 119 critical and 623 high rated assets in this environment. However, based on the VPR calculations, this comes down to 91 critical and 194 high assets, greatly reducing the amount of remediation required across the two severity levels. Even with this reduction, it can be helpful to further narrow down the data as different analysts may need different types of information. For example, to narrow down the most critical assets based on VPR to Windows system vulnerabilities, we can chain filters together. First, create a new filter and set the first filter criteria for a VPR of 9 or greater. Add another filter for the plugin family of Windows bulletins. As you can see, the number of assets have been narrowed down even further to Windows patches that need to be applied, which can easily be disseminated to the appropriate team members. Another useful method is to combine a VPR filter with tags. We'll choose the same VPR rating of 9 or greater. Next, we'll add another filter based upon a previous tag that we have created based on operating systems. In this example, we'll choose Windows. The benefit of this type of filter is that it will show vulnerabilities which affect both the operating system as well as third-party packages such as web browsers. A similar filter can be applied for Linux systems by leveraging pre-existing tags. Another helpful filtering method is to combine VPR rating with existing tags that are based on integrations. In this example, we'll create a filter that shows VPRs with a high or critical rating that exist in Amazon Web Services EC2 instances located in the United States. These filters can be as specific or as broad as you would like, depending on how your organization is laid out and who is responsible for your assets.